New System Inventory Setup One of the very first things to enter into a new MaxTrax program is all of your parts in stock or parts inventory. There are multiple ways to enter all of these parts that you have on hand into MaxTrax. One, import parts list from a data conversion from another software program. Two, import a parts list in a spreadsheet format using the catalog import feature. Or three, by creating one part record at a time in MaxTrax using the add a part wizard. Let's review each method. The first method is to load a brand new MaxTrax program with converted data from another software program, including customers, vehicles, repair history, and parts for example. This data conversion creates an individual part record in MaxTrax for each part record converted from another system, typically with a part number, description, cost, selling price, condition, quantity on hand, and in some cases a product code. If any of these parts have a condition of remanufactured, the core charge amount is also converted in the data conversion and will be tracked in each part record. The second method to enter your parts inventory into MaxTrax is to use a catalog import utility, which takes your parts data from a spreadsheet and imports that data into a catalog in MaxTrax and then adds the catalog parts to the parts list in MaxTrax. Click Utilities on the menu bar, select Import Catalog Data, add a catalog name or select a name from the list, and click Next. Select the spreadsheet in a CSV format, comma separated values file, and click Open. Next, match the imported parts data fields with the MaxTrax catalog field. Just click on the item from the source field column and drag and drop it on the column to the right of the destination field. Description, description, cost, cost. And list might go in both the list and the price A section if I sell these parts for list price as an example. Next and finish. I'll just cancel out of this example. Using the second method, once your parts are in the MaxTrax catalog, the catalog is imported to your parts list. From the menu bar, click on Parts Manager, select Update Parts List with Catalog Prices, select the catalog you just imported, and click Next. Then choose the items you want imported from the catalog to the parts records on your parts list. If a part record has already been created for any of the parts in this catalog, MaxTrax will update the information in the part record, or if the part is not already in MaxTrax, and in this case of using this feature to set up your new system inventory, that would probably be all of your parts. Just make sure this checkbox is selected, and MaxTrax will add parts to inventory if not found, which will be for all of your parts in this catalog, and click Next, and click the Begin Update button to start the import. I'll just cancel out of this example. Note. The catalog import does not import your quantity on hand. The quantity on hand would need to be entered using the physical inventory worksheets once all of your part records are created in MaxTrax. Let's look at the third method and then discuss how we can enter your quantity on hand using the physical inventory worksheets feature. The third method to enter your parts into MaxTrax is to use the add a part wizard to create each individual part record. Click the Parts Search icon on the toolbar, and down here we would click Add Part to start the wizard. Scott Systems has a 15-minute training video that explains this wizard in detail called Add a Part, so I'm not going to dive into all the details of the wizard. However, I do want to cover one element of that wizard, the Current Stock on Hand field. And I'm only going to enter the required fields for this example, Part Number, Description, Next, Next. On this pricing window, I'll enter a cost, select my oil filter price matrix, and click the Advanced button down here. On this screen, we can enter the actual quantity of the part that you have in stock. Let's say I have four, and Next, Finished. 
So with method number three, the add a part wizard, we can enter the quantity on hand at the same time. However, maybe you're going to get all of your parts inventory entered into Max Tracks using this method over the period of a week or two. Another option is to skip entering a current stock on hand amount, wait until all your parts records are created, and then use a physical inventory worksheet to enter your quantity on hand after taking account, similar to what we would do if we use a catalog import to enter our parts since that feature does not have a quantity on hand field in the utility. Last step for method two and three would be to click parts manager on the menu bar and select take physical inventory. Here we would create worksheets to print out and enter our parts counts on and then enter those amounts from the worksheets into MaxTrax using this feature and post those entries. The part records would now show our quantity on hand. Please see the Take a Physical Inventory training video for detailed instructions on how to use this physical inventory feature. One more thing, if you're using the accounting in MaxTrax, you will want to enter your inventory valuation on your general ledger as soon as all your parts inventory is loaded into MaxTrax from either a data conversion, catalog import, or using the wizard. Please see the new system inventory valuation setup training video for instructions. And this concludes the lesson on new system inventory setup.